Daily Sacrifices for Long-Term Success. This is Jason Rosell, Lifestyle and Wellness Coach. This is a three-part series and today is part three, which we're focusing on relationships and on friendships. Part one was on the body and part two was on business. So if this is your first time watching this episode, make sure you check prior episodes because you do not want to miss it. So let's talk about relationships. Let's talk about your boyfriend, your girlfriend. Let's talk about your wife, your husband. A lot of times we tend to get so overwhelmed with life, whether it's our career, say we have kids, say we have a big social life, and we forget that our partner, husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, wife, is our best friend, and many other things. So half of the time of our lives, we tend to just get caught up and we forget where our priorities stand. And I always told my clients, and just even for myself and my past relationships in life, that if you can't give 50% of yourself, at least 50% of yourself, to your partner, right, and the rest of your business, your kids, your career, whatever that is, you're not gonna have a successful relationship. Because at the end of the day, you can have all the friends you want. You can have your family members X, Y, and Z. But if you plan on having a partner to grow old with, your best friend, your confidant, the person that's there for the good days, your bad days, you gotta make priorities into spending quality time with that individual. If not, you're just gonna spread yourself so thin and hanging out with them when you can, when you're not too tired, and again, when it comes to instant gratification, which a lot of relationships fall under that category, they just hang out and see each other at their convenience. And that unfortunately leads to a failed relationship, divorce, and the list goes on. So, I highly recommend if you're in a relationship, starting to build one, or been having one for many years, that you make your partner a priority. Sometimes we gotta take a step back, breathe, and realize, you know what, I'm blessed, I got someone that's really there for me. And most importantly, think about it, when you're in the deathbed, when you're not feeling good, you can have all the friends that you like, which brings me to my next topic, but who's really gonna be there? Don't worry about the high fives on Facebook, Instagram, who is going to be there? Now let's talk about friends. This is one of my favorite topics. Growing up until my early 30s, I had so many friends. I had acquaintance friends, I had great friends, and I had best friends. I realized the older I got, and as I was learning and growing in life, I was seeing who was my best friends really. And I was realizing that I was hanging out with my acquaintances as much as I could, my good friends and my best friends. But ultimately, it came down to the best friends, right? I was trying to see who was really there for me in certain times. And partially was my fault in the beginning because I wanted to be loved. I wanted to be the center of attention. I wanted everybody to like me. But what I started realizing is a lot of them weren't liking me for me. It was either for my career, what I look like, or what I can do for them. So the older I got, and I teach this in a lot of my life coaching clients, is you start really doing a process of elimination as to what and who is important in your life. So believe me, when it comes to instant gratification, I know sometimes we wanna feel love, attention, we wanna have as many friends as possible. But really look back and to all the actions that your friends have taken and where you're at right now in life and ask yourself, is this the people that I want to grow with? to get older with and around me. Because I'll tell you firsthand, the older I've gotten, I would say a good 60, 70% of the friends I thought were friends, quality friends, they really weren't. Sure, I still have acquaintances, we're always gonna be cool. Sure, I'm gonna have good friends that I see every blue moon, but the good friends in life, at the end of the day, I'd rather have a small circle than have a lot of quantity of Eh, ips and whens. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode today. And if you did, please send me a comment below. If you want to take your life and body to the next level, visit my website, jasonrosell.com. The link is also in the description where I can help you get your mind right, body tight, and most importantly, full of love. Have an amazing day and keep it caliente.